It sucks that I can't learn Japanese from just watching anime all day, but at least I found a way to learn vocabulary words with mnemonics. Now I can speak Japanese. Konnichiwa. Sara desu ka? Hai. Sou desu. Hajime mashite. Watashi no namae wa Tanaka desu. Watashi wa UNT daigaku no sanensei desu. Anata mo daigakusei desu ka? Tana. Ano... Anata mo daigakusei desu ka? Kasa. Anata ga koko ni tate iru no omita toki. Anata mo daigakusei na no Kakigi takata de Mizu Taki Yoru Yomu Hare Hai Inu Mimi Ne While knowing vocabulary words is crucial to learning a new language, understanding sentence structure and grammar points is equally as important. Learning full sentences is a little more complicated than a word or a phrase, but once you learn a few and understand how they're put together in the language you're learning, it becomes really easy to start doing them on your own with the vocabulary words that you already know. With that being said, I think it's time to test a method that will help me learn sentences because apparently all I know is simple vocabulary words. Scriptorium is a method that helps you understand the correspondence between speech and writing with better focus. Students write the language while simultaneously speaking it. First, look at the sentence and read it out loud. Then say each word out again as you write it. And lastly, read the sentence once more from your own handwriting. This method forces you to slow down and focus on each word, as well as the sentence grammar points and structure. It was developed by Professor Argelis, and it forces you to focus on every last little detail of the language. You learn vocabulary and grammar in a relatively short amount of time, and sessions of 15 to 30 minutes each are the most effective. I personally think this method could be effective maybe like a 6 out of 10. It seems a lot less intimidating than I initially thought. I was thinking there would be a ton of reading involved, but with sessions of only 15 to 30 minutes, I feel like it's more of an extreme focus type of method. But now that I think about it, intensely focusing on things is really hard for me as well, so I guess we'll just have to test it to find out. I studied with Scriptorium how it was suggested online in short sessions while being uninterrupted. I looked through the Japanese textbook I used for my college course and highlighted each sentence I saw that I didn't know. I created a list on a piece of paper that showed which pages these sentences were on and how many were on each page. There were a lot more than I was expecting. After that, it was time to start learning. I would look at the sentence in question, made sure I understand what it was saying, each word and grammar point, and then started the scriptorium pattern. I would read the sentence out loud from my textbook, Tokyo Daigaku no Lee-san. Write the sentence myself while pronouncing each character, To Kyo Dai Gaku no The sun. And read the sentence out loud again from my own handwriting. Tokyo Daigaku no Lee-san. I did this once for every sentence until I lost focus or decided to stop for the day. Then I went down the page of completed sentences and read each one out loud again. When I read them over, I still knew exactly what they meant. The next time I studied, I would start with reading the page of the sentences I had completed out loud again to make sure I still knew them. Sometimes there would be a couple I couldn't remember, so I would just add them to the list of new sentences I studied that day. And that's all it took. So here's how the week went. After studying Japanese using only scriptorium for a week, I can say that I'm pretty impressed. I can change that six out of 10 to like a 7.5 out of 10. This method genuinely helped me learn full sentences and it felt kind of cool being able to say them without tripping over my words or forgetting a grammar point. But it just takes a lot of focus. They say to do it in intervals of 15 to 30 minutes for a reason because my head starts to hurt after 10. If you lose focus while doing this or get distracted, you're most likely not going to gain the level of focus that you had beforehand. 
Once something took my focus off of my textbook or my notebook, it was just over. My friend Christian actually called me when I was in the middle of studying in the bath. Don't judge me, that's when I'm the most calm. And we ended up talking for like 30 minutes. Once I looked back at my notebook to study again, I just said, uh, no, I don't wanna. And I didn't. Also, this method requires you to have some source to get Japanese sentences from. My textbook works great because it has the full sentences and grammar points throughout it, but I wouldn't suggest listening to people on the internet or Google Translate because they both can be wrong. You also have to have a complete understanding of each word and grammar point in the sentence before you even write it, and textbooks usually point that out as you're learning sentences. So I think you really do need some kind of textbook or a learning book in order to do this method. I didn't have any trouble with this method, but I think that's because I'm at such a beginner level that the sentences I were learning were pretty simple and my textbook explained them anyways. But I feel like it would definitely get more difficult if you don't know vocabulary words or complex grammar structures, and it could really help you out because it forces you to look it up in order to learn what you're saying. I think this method works best for intermediate or advanced learners of Japanese, just because the more vocabulary you know and grammar points you know, it'll be fun and more easy to put together complex sentences. Like maybe you're at an advanced level to where you can read a Japanese book, and this method would be great for breaking down sentences and learning new vocabulary or things that you're confused about. But I personally think it's good for beginners too. I only learned everything I said in the intro of this video because of this method. There are so many baby sentences that you need to learn as a beginner, and if you have a beginner's textbook, it works great. I remember every sentence that I learned. This method is probably more difficult for people who can't stay focused easily. I couldn't even really study for more than 20 minutes at a time. It just takes a lot. It, it takes a lot. It's a lot. I'm going to continue to use this method for a while because saying sentences in Japanese and even reading them sometimes is pretty difficult for me at this point. It just feels really good to be able to create my own sentences with the vocabulary words that I know or just recall sentences that I should already know. It makes me feel like I'm really learning Japanese. I hope this video helped you in understanding what Scriptorium is and maybe inspired you to try it yourself. But that is all for now guys, I will catch you next time where we look at shadowing and if I fall to the dark side.